Hey guys, welcome again. I am Azim Tariq from RedScore.com. In the previous video tutorial, I show you how to get groups in which user is admin, and in this video, I will show you how to get uh, members of uh, any particular group. So let's get start. In order to get uh, members from group, you have to use uh, you have to know uh, ID of the specific group. So let me show you documentation of Facebook about groups um, yep here it is so you can you can see that uh, you need to know group ID if you want to work with a single group These are some endpoints where you can make your call for specific group. Uh, let me open this endpoint. So it says that uh, you have to make request to group ID slash admins and this will return admin of the group but it's only available to app and game groups. So they, these are some special types of groups. It's not available on any uh, normal group. Okay. So, uh, if we make request to, for example, members, it will return all of the members of the group. Uh, for example, if we make request to photos, it will return photos. Uh, if we ma make request to, um, you know, videos, it will return videos that are uploaded in this group. So, as an example, let me show you uh, members example. Uh, and after that, you can easily work with all of these endpoints on your own so let's open this so it says that you have to pass group id and members and this will return members of this group so let's do it in coding so first of all uh, let me include rest facebook library Okay guys, now let's uh, create our access token is equal to and I will insert my access token later. We can use Facebook client, Facebook client. Okay. And we will use, um, let's import this first. Okay, we will use default, sorry, new default Facebook client. Okay, and we will pass access token in this constructor. After that, we will use connection. Class and we will pass group in it. And uh, we will say that uh, groups feed okay and after that uh, we will use sorry we will use facebook client object to get all of these groups from endpoint which will return all of the groups of current user so we will use fetch fetch connection and uh, first we will pass our endpoint which is me slash groups this will return all of the groups of current user and uh, now let's pass type of uh, the object that this class will return let's import connection and group classes okay so we have uh, uh, groups feed now we can get groups from each of these pages so let's fetch first page group 
uh, let's call it page and let's uh, get page from groups feed now let's get a single group a group from page and uh, here is the thing at this point we have uh, we are getting uh, one group at a time so let me ask from user whether he wants to get group members from this group okay so let's uh, create scanner object to get input from user uh, scanner input is equal to uh, let's import it from java.util scanner system dot in okay let's print some message to user saying that uh, do you want to get members of and uh, let's print current use groups name and after that uh, we can simply get answer from the user uh, is equal to input the next line and uh, let's say yes or no okay so if user say ans dot equals yes then we will do our stuff here okay so user said yes and uh, that means he want to get uh, uh, members from this group so now we can use this endpoint right uh, we need to uh, make request to group id and members uh, let's do it again we will use connection class here and at this time uh, this request returns you can see that it return members means users so we will pass users the user here okay and uh, uh, we say that user feed and uh, simply we can uh, use facebook client dot fetch connection and again this is the endpoint and second parameter is the type of the object that this request will return so we'll use user dot class okay okay the endpoint how we make endpoint okay so endpoint is group id so we will use group id dot get id just like this and uh, after that we will add mem members here so effective effectively it will uh, become uh, any group id slash members and this is what uh, facebook api documentation says so hopefully this request will return users and now we can loop through these users and we will display their name and whatever we want to do with those users okay so uh, first of all let's uh, get single page from users feed so user uh, user page from user feed or let's get single user a user from user page
its username oh sorry its name and its profile link so facebook.com slash um, a user get id okay so now let me insert my access token and we are good to go let's refresh it sorry let's refresh it let's print group link as well sorry a group get id No. Let's get admins from this group. So this is the group uh, group link. You can see that it has almost uh, three thousand group members. And uh, now let's see the members that we get from our uh, weather this is present in this group or not find member and you can see that here it is and again uh, let's search this member as well and if we can verify it from its link So you can see that uh, this is the same person that we get from our Facebook API. And another thing that I want to mention here is that you can always test your application on Graph API Explorer. For example, let me show you. Um, you can test each endpoint here. For example, uh, first we make request to me slash groups so let me test this endpoint here so you can see that it runs some groups and uh, now if you want to test this endpoint uh, sorry where it is it, this endpoint we can simply test it like this it need uh, group id and members so we can say that and as you can see that it return group members so this is how it works I hope you guys enjoy this video uh, do, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos i will catch you in the next video thanks for watching